All right, a year later, I'm back. I got another tin. We're doing series one this time. Last time we did a series two tin, and it went horribly. Not horrible, horrible, but like we pulled like braided and bark young gun, so it wasn't great. Did get an orange dazzlers. I collect the dazzlers, so this is what we're looking for. That Brock Nelson, that was a pretty cool pull. Uh, I was okay with that. Uh, series 1, didn't do originally because the crop wasn't great, but then extended and Series 2 came out and the crops weren't much better. But, I mean, looking at the crop for Series 1 coming out this year, doesn't look like there's ever going to be a good crop for a while now. But, we're going to see how we do. I guess we're looking for Lafreniere, though probably not worth $500 like last year. Got our little Tim's card of Lafreniere. Yeah, but I haven't made a video in like eight months. I've opened a ridiculous amount of Tim's, but I always open these in one packs. So, like, i just too anxious to make a video. But it was like, I'm going to make a video for this tin, and here we are. We're making a video for this tin. Had some decent pa eh, pack luck. Ended up pulling a Redemption in Tim Hortons. Got a David Pasternak jersey card. That was pretty cool. We got a 1 in 100 in the Tim's Braden Point. That's pretty cool. So, we'll see. Maybe I'll stack my Tim, Tim's packs next year. Do a big opening. We'll see. But for now, we got a 10 once again. Oh, there's McDavid. It is 9 packs of regular upper deck. And then it's an OPG pack. But that pack is just not good. If you notice the Crosby poster in the background. Swear I'm not a Penguins fan, I just own a Crosby's poster. Alright, let's open the tin. Been a pretty ridiculous back lag on the upper deck. It's, everyone keeps waiting for Series 1 to come out of the new year, and it keeps not coming out, keep pushing it back. Yeah, I don't know. So, what we can get... In this, of course, Young Guns 1 and 4, so we're at 9 packs, we're 2, and then probably not a third, but you got a 25% chance. Uh, tins are, I think I already mentioned this in my last video, they're much worse than they used to be. Much, much worse. Here's our packs. I'm just opening it behind because I don't got much space in front. But, just believe me, here's all the packs. And of course, our... Wonderful old peachy glossy pack. I'm gonna open this first because it's worthless. Young guns we're looking for Lafreniere, Byram, Ottinger is pretty good. I think he'll be a good goalie for the stars. All right, so we're gonna open the old peachy pack. I, I honestly don't think there's anything good you can get in here. It's literally just a filler, so they don't have to give you another pack. It's kind of hostile, but we'll see. Uh. What I'm looking for in the packs, I don't think you can get, like, the hobby-exclusive things, and obviously, because it's retail, the NHL Worldwide and stuff, but I'm looking for that one Orange Dazzlers, it's 1 in 9, so, or, you know, 1 in 10, so it's a 90% chance, so we should get it if we don't, it's gonna be kind of cheese, not gonna lie. Okay. Nick Bodan regular, I think. Yeah, okay, this is, that's just dumb. Nick Bodan Gold. And Morgan Geeky. I'm not sure if he's still on the Hurricanes. They're damn good this year, Carolina. My Blue Jackets are treading water at 500, but I don't know if they're going to make it. The East is so weird. There's like eight teams that are just unstoppable. Anyways, those were three cards that... Anyway, anyone want them? If anyone wants these glossy cards, hit me up in the comment section. But all right, here we go. Nine packs. Looking for Dazzler. I think Canvas Youngguns are one forty-eight, so that's probably not going to happen. I don't care about the UD portraits, but I mean, I'll take them over a base pack. But all right, let's open it up. I'm just going to do it behind because I have no space, but that's okay. Good thing about Series 1 compared to Series 2 is there's no OPG cards. Those kind of bust your packs in Series 2. 
I find those quite annoying. Pull off and you're gonna freak out, but I don't think my luck's that good. Alright, I think we got a young gun. Alright. Matthew Perot of your Winnipeg Jets. Pavel Zaka. I heard he's on the trade bait for the Devils. Good trade today for the Flames. They got Toffoli. Montreal's starting to blow it up. Jason Zucker. Penguins are ridiculous this year. Oh, actually, I was totally wrong. It's a canvas. Oh my god, no way. There's no way. Jake Verona. I opened one pack of Series 1 this year, just a random loose pack, and I got Jacob Verona canvas. <laughs> I pull a dupe of the one car I have. It's unbelievable. Alright. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe that. If anyone wants to trade, let me know. That's this that's unbelievable. Okay. He's on the Red Wings too now. I think he's been out all year. Red Wings are having a decent season. Morgan Riley and the Maple Chokers. Uh Frankie Vitrano of the Insanely Good Panthers. Nate Schmidt and the Vegas Golden Cap Circumventures. And Alex Goligoski of the Tanking Coyotes. All right, one pack in, and it's not going well. I mean, I, like, good. I like, I like the canvases, but out of I have like two canvases between series one, two, and three, and I pull a double out of like 150. That's absolutely astronomically insane. All right, second pack. We're probably due for a base pack. Just, just how it goes. If you come in with your expectations low can't get much worse, so. Okay, I see Rasmus Dahlin on the back of my pack. Sabres are bad, again. Alright, Nikita Gusev, I, I'm not sure if he's a double, I think he got traded. Quinn Hughes, I like those Canucks jerseys. Jacob Truba and the Rangers, they're taping my Blue Jackets out of the playoffs. Pavelski, I shouldn't have dropped him in fantasy. Darcy Kemper of the Avalanche now. He's having a mess season. Yeah, base pack. Martin Jones is in the Flyers now. Flyers. I can't explain to you what happened to the Flyers. They're just so bad. Philip Forsberg. That Winter Classic jersey is so much nicer than the new one. When they're going to play Tampa, those jerseys are so ugly. And Ross Mustaline of the Buffalo Sabres. Ugh. All right, base pack. Okay, we're getting to the meat now. Pack three. I tend to open these very, very slow. There we go. Nice clean rip. All right, Alex, I follow. Come on, zoom in. There we go. Alex, I follow of the Kings. They're having a quietly good season for what everyone expected of them. Nick Letty of the Islanders. They are not doing well. Can't score goals. Ah, there he is, Mr. Leakins. I'm telling you, best goalie in the league. Latvian menace. Peter Morazic. Uh, he's a Leaf now, unfortunately for him. I swear he lets, like, the first shot in every time. Oh, it's the Dazzlers. Okay, I'm happy we got the Dazzlers. I think it's a goalie. I see some pads on this side. I see a glove. We're going to side reveal. Ooh, Ooh Jordan Baines in orange. Ooh, that's, that's a great Dazzler. All right, I'm happy with that. I'm very happy with that. It kind of goes well with his yellow, too. All right, mission accomplished. We have the Dazzler. I'm going to read the back. It's pretty long. Bington was a rookie, 27. All right, cool. Dazzler 36, Bington Orange. That's cool. That's exactly what we were here for. Doughty, Anafin, Carter Hart. I feel bad for Carter Hart. He gets lit up every night, and I honestly don't think it's his fault. His team's just, they're just not there. All right. Bington Dazzler. 
Pack four. Got a young gun eventually, but it's probably a base pack. Just guessing. I'm usually right about these things. Oh, it's a young gun. Okay. May have peeked at it. Saw a bit of it. Galger and the crappy Canadians. Hampus Lindholm. <laughs> Jack Eichel. Mm. Yeah, he's he's something else. And it comes the young gun. Connor Ingram, okay. Yeah, I'm okay with that. He's a decent prospect for the Predators. I think he's still in their system. But Soros has been insane for him. But that, that's a decent young gun. I'm, I'm okay with that. I mean, no, that's not a practice jersey. Like, better than some of the extended young guns. I like the goalie theme we have going on here. Yeah, but back on Eichel, that, that's just a sensitive subject. <laughs> BH Cards, if anyone watches his channel, I'm going to give him a quick plug. Go watch him. He does a lot more videos than me and is better at this than me. But, yeah, I don't know how he feels about Jack Eichel these days. <laughs> Christian Dvorak on the Canadians now. Probably not for long because he's probably going to get traded at the deadline. Pajot, I forgot he existed. Nikita Zaitsev, there's your Leafs legend. And Lars Eller. He's pretty good for fantasy Eller in terms of face-offs, but kind of depends how your league plays. Alright, this is going well. I would say it's going well. <laughs> Not amazing, but it's going decently well. I think we're going to be due for either a base pack or a UD portraits. That's my gut feeling on the next one. Tyler Sagan, my friend calls him Segway. I don't know. Braden Point and the Tampa Bay. I'm not going to talk about it, but of course I trash talked them last video eight months ago and they won the cup. It better not be a three peat. Um, like I, I'm, I'd rather the Leafs take them out in the first round. Ov have another good season. Jake Gensel. Uh, there it is. I told it. I, I knew it. UD portrait of. Quinny Hughes. Look at this guy. Solid. I'm okay with that portrait. I I I'm I don't mean to dog on Upper Deck, but like who came up with this design? It's so bad. Like you probably can't see because my camera's horrible, but Okay. Decent. Oh, there go the cards. Alright, Matt Duchesne and his mustard practice jersey for the winter classic. Aaron Ekblad, and Jonas Donskoy of the Avalanche, who, I'm telling you, should win the Cup this year. I said that last year, and they let me down, but they're too good not to win the Cup. But they blew it last year against Vegas, who then blew it to Montreal, who then blew it to Tampa, so they clearly know nothing. I, I don't get that, how Vegas couldn't beat Montreal. It looks really bad now that Montreal's 32nd in the league. My gosh, these packs open weird. Alright. We gotta be due for a base pack, right? Who is this? Blake Coleman. Ah, he's on the Rangers of the Flames. I know him and Goudreau will... I think he's on the Flames. They're good, Calgary. I watched one of their games the other night. Very solid team. They got Tavoli now. Great trade. Uh, Marcus Johansson, I think he's on Minnesota. I think he got traded for Eric Stoll. I don't know. Stoll's at the Olympics right now. Uh, Canada, kind of concerning. We lost to America, but, I mean, it's like the European tournament. We're playing China tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know why China's at the Olympics, but they're holding their own. They're not getting totally blown out. Yeah, I think it's a Dylan Strom. Adam Fox. Oh, it is not a base pack. Oh, Philip Kurashev. All right. Decent young gun. Not amazing. And we already got two young guns, so that might be it for us. But I can live with that. Kind of. Not really, but that's okay. Shrochek. Underrated. Miko Koskinen. Feel bad for the guy. Tip it shit on him a lot. And Jacob Silverberg of the Ducks, who are having a pretty good season. I mean, the Pacific Division, kind of a hot mess, for being honest. I think the top three teams are like, not even, none of them are in the top ten in the league. Alright, we got three packs left. 
I've already had two young guns, so I don't know what I'm supposed to expect. Probably some base packs. I hope not, but probably like a, I don't know, yeah, I don't know, we've hit all of our inserts we've supposed to hit. Oh my, this might be a Young Guns canvas from the back, I see. I saw like that maroon, maybe, maybe not. Kerfoot, I think he's a good player. I watch a lot of Leafs games, unfortunately. Ehlers, those jerseys are best in the league, I'm telling you. Those baby blue Jets jerseys. Those are amazing. Artemi Amisinov. I don't even think he's in the league anymore. <laughs> no offense. Oh, it is a young gun canvas. Oh, let's go. Oh, that's a pretty good pull. Josh Norris, he's developed into a really good player. Uh, unfortunately, he's in his old Senators jersey, but young gun canvas of Josh Norris. That's a great pull. 1 in 48. Why do they have the new logo? Okay, it's, I don't know. Three games, plus two. Nothing this first. That, that's a superb pull. Alright, I'm calling this a success. That's that's a great pull. Young Gun Campus. That's great. Eric Carlson and his contract <laughs> in San Jose. He, he's okay. He, Phil Ponrique. I have his Young Gun. I think he's good. Uh, Marcia so and Duncan Keefe, the Edmonton Oiler. Oilers gotta get going, otherwise the city's gonna burn. They can get in, because the Pacific's so weak, but, like, they just fired their coach. They got the AHL guy from Bakersfield coaching now. I would hope Edmonton... Nah, I don't know. I kind of like Edmonton's media going nuts. Dry side all the other week. Calling someone prissy or whatever. That is quite the scandal. Okay, we have two packs left, and really can't expect anything, because I think we've hit all our odds. I can expect basic packs, that's probably what I can expect. Rin Shen, no double blues, Perenko, Kemp, John Marino, yeah, it is base. Anders Lee, he's not having a good season, none of the Islanders are. Alexander Wenberg, jeez, he's Florida, and now he's a Kraken, waiting for those Kraken cards to come out. Martin Nainch, I can't pronounce his name. And Jeff Petrie, probably going to be flipped at the deadline for Montreal. Armberg, really good at face-offs in his time in Columbus. He just didn't have a good contract, and of course they let him go to Florida, and he was nuts, and then floor Seattle overpaid for him. All right, last pack. Probably not going to be anything. It was kind of thick, though. So maybe, maybe it will be. Maybe it won't. Uh, it doesn't look like anything. It's okay. All right, last pack. Hoping maybe for that extra young gun. Probably won't be though. Riley Smith, Zuccarello having a great season for Minnesota. Darnell Nurse, Nazem Kadri, uh, insane season. Nah, it's nothing. John Mason, Carter Hutton from the Sabres to the dumpster fire of the Coyotes, Neil Pionk, look at those jerseys, Jordan Eberle of the Seattle Kraken now, he's doing okay for how bad they are, Riley Smith, and that's it, we're done, and my base predictions were right. And if we want to do a summary, we got a lot of base cards. <laughs> the obvious fact. Uh, we got, in terms of inserts, Jake Verona canvas that I own. So if anyone wants to trade me another canvas, I will gladly send you this Jacob Verona canvas. I can't believe that. <laughs> the one canvas I own. That's just unbelievable. Quinn Hughes. Portrait. Okay. I know there's a lot of Vancouver fans, so maybe I can trade this for something. I'm looking for Dazzlers. If anyone's got Dazzlers and wants to trade me. That's what I'm looking for. Two Young Guns. Kurashev. Connor and Grubb. Not the bottom of the barrel. 
but I can't say it's good. This I'm happy about. Bington, um, Dazzlers. This looks good. Like, just the yellow with the orange. That, that's a solid pull. And pull the box. Or tin. Come on, zoom. <laughs> well, you you already knew what it was. Josh Norris, Young and Canvas. Amazing pull. I'd say that's a pretty good tin opening. Till next time, maybe in another eight months. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, go Blue Jackets.